Hello, my name is Scott Deal, and I am an employee at a fictional company called Perfection Inc. My employer has opted to use the eCentral platform in order to enroll our employee benefits, and they have kicked out the enrollment by sending me an email that looks something like this. Inside of that email, a blue login is provided, and if I click on it, I'll be taken to the place where I set up my account. Now, it, when you're an employee at a company, you will see your company's logo and, and a good background that your company has set. I simply select a password and click Sign Up. I'm taken over to my primary login page where I'm able to review documents my employer has um, provided to me, my current benefits, and my profile, which is really my contact information and dependent information. The first thing to do is to go into the documents library. You'll be, re you'll be receiving documents from your employer here. This happens to be our exchange notice. It just notifies me that I have an exchange option. Instead of buying insurance through my employer, I can actually go to the California State Covered California Exchange and purchase insurance there, uh, potentially with subsidy. So it's, it provides some very valuable information that you're going to want to make sure you read through. And when it comes time for enrollment, what you'll see that's changed is that I'm given the opportunity to start my enrollment here. When I click on it, it's giving me a few screens that I'm going to go through where I'm going to fill out some information. It's important that you provide accurate details here, including updates of any social security numbers that have been input on your behalf to make sure that they are accurate. You proceed through these screens just as you would any other application. Fill out the information. I don't have any dependents, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. This takes me to the benefit page. The first thing I have to do on this page is select that I'm not waiving coverage, at which point I will see the plan options that are available for me. Here I've got a medical plan. My medical has two options, an HMO and a PPO. My employer contribution has already been removed from the total cost of the premium. So the premium that I see is just the premium that will be taken out of my paycheck. I can review some details by clicking on the show. And I'm given a very important document, the summary of benefits and coverage right below the plan name. This is an ACA mandated form that my, client, my employer has to provide to me uh, and I have to review. I'll be given the opportunity to do that later in the process as well if I don't do it here. So if I choose the HMO, I'm going to have to choose a primary care physician and a primary care ID. If you don't have that information, the best place to find it is on the carrier's website. But because I'm a PPO guy, I'm going to go ahead and choose the PPO. My premiums are going to get updated, and I'm going to click Next and move on to the next plan type. So the next plan type is Dental. I'm going to go ahead and select that I'm going to include Dental. And again here I'm going to choose the PPO. I recognize that my coverage is effective 12-1. And here again I can also see details of my dental plan. I can click Next. I don't have any current or previous coverage that I need to be wor worried about adding here, so I can click Next. It tells me that I am required to review the summary of benefits and coverage, so I'll go ahead and do that now. It's very important that you keep this document, so I'm going to download it 
so that I can have it for easy reference later. It really talks you through all of the details of the coverage that, I, that you're buying. So it's really an, uh, uh, an important document to keep handy for when you do go to utilize your coverage. All we require is that you open it. You're then given the opportunity to review and sign any forms. Forms will be presented for you on the screen. You'll be able to walk through and see exactly what it is the system has completed on your behalf. You should review the information very carefully to make sure that your selections were made accurately. After you've reviewed the form, you can download it, which I suggest you do, and then you can continue to sign the form. Signing the form is very simple. Click next once you've signed. You'll get a sample of what it is you've enrolled in. And this is also the same summary of the medical coverage that you can receive when you first log in. So if you ever forget what it is you signed up for or what the costs are going to be or how they're going to be removed from your paycheck, you can always sign into the eCentral platform in order to find that information. And you do so by going into manage benefits right here. This will also be the location for making your policy changes. You can always come back here and find any of the information, including the SBCs. So if you don't end up downloading them, you can always retrieve them. And that's it. That's the sum total of online enrollment through the Central platform from the employee's perspective. I hope you found this very useful, and I'll look forward to seeing you in other videos.